what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Steve. Thank you, Tuna Brown A3. Channel about everything, channel about nothing. It's May. May vlog, like I told you, one vlog a month until we start getting some sponsors, so we start getting some stuff rolling, and we start kicking out some stuff. On this edition, you don't want to miss it. It's May, so anybody who lives close to the beach who's looking for a cooler, I got a perfect cooler for you. But, I got some pros and some cons. It is an Igloo Trailmate Journey. So stay through for this one. First and foremost, if you're new to this channel, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that bell, don't miss a beat. Got a lot of vlogs going, a couple that's doing well, a couple that still need help. It's your boy Jay Steve, and this vlog is mostly about my family, friends, loved one, MJ. Um, MJ loves the beach, and that's one of the things that I, from an island person, should love, but maybe because I can't swim that well, eh, I can do it out. Um, most of my summers I ride bikes, play with my RC car, but this year, MJ was surprised. I told her that I want to go to the beach. So, with that said, we start looking for a lot of beach items from beach chair, umbrella, totes or bag, um, the works. And one of the things that we all found, or we couldn't find, was a cooler. We need something with large wheels, a tray. A tray was actually the selling point. Large wheel handle and easy to be on the beach. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not even gonna edit this out. Now, what we got here, my friends, are the Igloo Trailmate Journey. They also come with one with a marina, and the difference one with a marine one is actually the wheels, um, extra handle, it has a different kind of coating inside, I guess for, for it to more, because right now they're putting this one as a four day ice retention, so it probably has a longer ice retention. But everything else is still the same. So this one is sold as a 70 quart or a 66 liter or 112 can. Has a telescope steering, has the elevated base so it doesn't sit on the ground, oversized wheel, and accessory for a umbrella and a fishing rod. Now let me tell you something, a fishing pole. I can say without further ado is that for the umbrellas that we have, that does not fit. And I'll show you that when I start opening up and go through some of the features. Um, other than that, pulling it, I have a video of that. In the sand, we didn't get a video of me pulling in the sand because it was not that easy to pull in the sand as the videos that I saw, which I had one. Um, maybe that contributed to me having two umbrellas, two bags, two chairs, and trying to pull it through the sand with like 20, uh, 21 pounds of ice, um, four, I think four Gatorades, a couple bottles of water, a couple of sodas, and a couple of sandwiches. Um, I know that on the, the day after when we tried to pull it and we decided to take the chairs off, the umbrella off, and have almost the same amount inside of it, it pulled a little more easier, but guys, it is not that easy to pull in the um, in the sand. There's a guy on YouTube, I might or might not put a link to his video, who did excellent. He pulled it through the um, sand that he had, but that sand had to be sand mixed because it pulled real easy. And I'm thinking that he had it packed to the brim because he said he just finished the ice retention on it. But I'm telling you, me and MJ pulled this, and it's a beast. Now, we love it. We'll still use it this year for the beach. But I'm telling you, it is nice. It is it's practical. But don't get it watching this video thinking that you're going to glide through the beach. Now, unlike asphalt, sidewalk, it pulled without... Like, you could pull with your middle finger. With every, <laughs> pull with any finger you want. With the bags, chairs, everything on it. It pulled really freaking nice. Um, so, let me go ahead and switch up, get these bags off, and then go ahead and show you some couple features. Alright guys, we're going to go through a couple of the features of the Igloo Trailmate Journey. The booklet first, and then we'll jump right into the cooler. This book right here, this is their selling point. It's how they actually market it as an Igloo Trailmate Journey. Up to 40 ice, ice <clears throat> retention, oversized wheel, 70 quart, 66 liter, and 112 cans. It says all train cooler, which is probably true for dirt, but like I said, sand is not as easy. All right, so as we go through real quick, where we actually see the thing, these are a couple of the features it shows real quick. Each feature shows in a book from either telescope handle, butler tray, iPod section, food storage, can hold, 
can, oversized wheel, all that kind of stuff. As you go through, it shows you the part. Here's your little key that shows you what it is from like your glide handle, butler tray, dry storage, mulch, um, stainless steel, stainless steel, <coughs> stainless steel part, drain plug, oversized wheel, cool raise technology, which is what I was talking about that bottom piece right here. That's the cool raise technology. Um, finally, it raising off the ground, it should make it more colder. Bottle opener, storage pocket, and aluminum construction. So as you go through it, it shows you a couple stuff in here from the handles and the pictures like that. That's the butler tray, that's your dry storage right here. Your telescope handles right here, oversized wheel. And like I said, we had no problem pulling it, but in sand, it definitely was hard. Had your storage pocket, mobile device, bottle opener, cup holder, there you go. That's the actual color that we got right there. And there you go from your bottle open accessory. This one probably will fit fishing rod or most fishing rod, but the umbrella that we got, it did not fit properly. And there you go. And there it is, your Karen warranty right here. So quick thing before I jump into and open it real fast. Uh, on the back of it right here, which I didn't show you, in the, um, the Marina edition, it has an extra handle here, which I'll put a picture. They sell the handle, but I know for warranty purposes, they're telling you not to modify it because it might void your warranty. So I probably won't do anything with it until after, um, whoops, after 90 days or after next year, but they do sell a handle. This actually has a handle part you can put your hands in, which is not a handle that give you Leverage it, it's kind of, it's really deep about this much deep to do it But the marina one that they have that has the actual handle to hold here and the telescope to hold here That's nice. These are the accessories that we're talking about that can actually fit um, Fishing poles and it's supposed to be able to fit a beach now everything you see in this video I'm gonna do a vlog on on a nautical beach set in another vlog and now we can show us what me and MJ got but the one that we got for the Nautica Umbrella has a screw down anchor. And for our screw down anchor, because this is supposed to give you support, it does not go all the way. I mean, you probably could anchor it like that if it's not high wind, but it's supposed to be anchoring the ground. So if you probably get a smaller rod, it probably should go all the way through and screw down. But for us, it didn't work, which is a bummer, but I will find something to do with these two parts right here. But uh, that's what they market as a fishing and a, a fishing or umbrella holder. But for our umbrella, it didn't it didn't hold well. Oh, and also for the accessory, um, I see somebody use a it glue cell like a little cup thing with a mesh. So anything that you have that can probably fit between with these right here, you probably can slide into it. Also, here's your tie down they're talking about. It doesn't end close, but I recommend you whenever you if you do buy this cooler. Get yourself a ratchet tie down right here. This right here, get yourself a ratchet tie down. What we did with a ratchet tie down is we went and put it underneath the cooler in between the raise up and above it. And we didn't tighten it down too much to where it ruined the chair or ruined the cooler. Then we also got some, I know I'm throwing everything over. I got some bungee cables that actually fits this way but it's almost like you have to get the perfect size. So we end up getting two. And what we did was we kind of like loop it like this. Like we put it on this side right here. And I'm only one doing the video, so it's kind of hard for me to do so. But we kind of put it like here, and then we loop it right here to the front. Um, and I'll show you a picture of how that is. So when I spin the cooler around, you'll see it real fast. So it's kind of looped with everything else. So let's spin it around real fast. There we go. And then we loop her right here when the chair goes in real fast. I know we're trying to wrap it up real quick. And I also got some more bungee hooks for like little stuff that actually work good with the um, with the chair. And I also have a canopy hook, which is really nice. This one loops around like this. And we went ahead and just hook it to hook my thing to my chair. So this is your dry space right here. It's almost like this. <laughs> MJ still has her. MJ still has her thing right here. 
Oh, come on, MJ, right here. She still has her thing right here. It actually comes apart real fast, which is really nice. That's your dry storage real quick. And there's tons of video on this one, so hopefully you like this one. Here's your telescope handle real fast that pulls out and in like this. Real nice, it's an extra handle. It's very strong and supportive, and that's why I wanna add that extra handle in the back. Here's your basket right here. And then, we're gonna open this up real quick. It's iPad. Now, it's supposed to also hold smartphone as well, so that's a good feature, but me personally, I wouldn't take that on the beach. Just a fear of just a time we're living to losing it. Also, the tie-down hook, it has about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tie-down hook that you can put on your bungee cord. And for those, I don't think I showed you, but I hope I did show you. Um, the opener right here on one side, definitely where they say elevated. And they also have this in like black. I saw it like in black and also as well. Um, they don't have the parts for the Igloo Trailmate Marina. Marina. So you can't get an Igloo, tra you probably can, but right now you can't get an Igloo Trailmate Marina wheels. They do sell the handle though. And like I said, inside where you saw my gray liner, it's a different, um, it's a different liner. I forgot what kind of liner. It has a special name to it. I guess it holds the ice retention a little bit more. Cup holder, cup holder, cup holder, cup holder. So one, two, three, four. Then you have two cup holders right here. So that's six. And then like I said, I saw someone use these as cup holders so that you could be almost eight cup holders right there. It can support the weight of two person on it, but I'm gonna take care of this one right here so me and MJ can have this for as long as we can. And so, I'll show you a couple parts and hopefully that is still in focus. Ta-da! Now like I said, we were looking for a cooler where they had like the Yetis that had all different kinds. That was really nice. I like that right there. There we go. So, this is the butler tray right here that I'm talking about real quick. And if you pull the telescope handle out real fast, pull this right here, pull this right here, you got a nice two cup, put a sandwich on it. We actually had our speakers on it. We had speakers, glasses, goggles, all that kind of stuff on it. We also even had our sunscreen at one point on it right there. This bag I'm trying to keep in here because this is where we keep our ice separate because we wanted ice in the cooler, but we wanted clean ice that we could use for our cups. This is the basket tray that actually sold it over. This right here, I actually ordered a second one that should be on its way, because I'm gonna show you how deep it is and how it slides. And two Subway sandwiches fit side by side with a little bit of stuff in there. My mom gave me some applesauce, so we ordered another tray where we can put like our fruits, our um, applesauce, our string cheese, and you can still put stuff in there, but it keeps the food from getting wet, and that's why we spend the extra money on it. So let me go ahead and put this back together real quick, show you how deep inside it is, and then wrap her up real quick. Show how deep this is. All right, so there you go, guys. There it is right here. That is your 70, I'm not sure it says 70 quart, 66 liter, I guess. 100 and something can. Very deep. Here's your drain plug right there. And this basket actually slides, which is really nice. So if it's already in there, me and MJ already, I call it a Cadillac of cooler. Megan, MJ says the Escalade of coolers. She's like, yo, this is the Escalade of cooler, which it is. You should, uh, and we'll have pictures on the beach showing you how we actually did it. But it is a really nice cooler. Too bad it's pricey. Um, just for what we need it for. But like I said, a selling point for us definitely was the um, the the tray. All right, so pros and cons real quick. Pros, it's a great cooler. It has a tray, has a butler tray. Con doesn't work that great in the sand. Another pro, ice retention supposed to be good. Con, if it's probably won't fit in your car. <laughs> so um, another pro would be is that they have the available parts available on Igloo site. Con, they don't have every single part that's available for this cooler on their side. Not in terms of even even sold out. Um, pros, it got a couple bottle holder, but you can't drink on the beach. So unless you have a bottle of Pepsi. And don't have much bottle because we saw a bottle in the sand that almost cut one of us. Um, so cut one of us. Con would be price, but you're going to pay for what you need. 
um, the, the price range from anywhere from 219 upwards to two two. I think I seen a high for 270. Um, Pro, we both like the blue. Con, if you get the white, the sand might eat it up. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of pros and cons. Do I regret getting this cooler? No, because as um, MJ and my mom said, we can use it practically for anywhere we go. She has a, a Jeep Cherokee. It fits right back. It took her whole trunk up, believe it or not. And the wheels do slide, although the raised part, you feel like will keep it stationary. It did slide, so we're going to probably um, figure out a way to set that cooler in our in our, in the back of our trunk without it rolling back and forth because it's brand new we don't want to like scratch up our vehicle more than what it needs to be it didn't scratch a vehicle um pro we draw it up we draw draw it or wheel it three blocks with everything on it and you did not feel the weight at all and i and i pulled this in the sand not even from here to there and i was sweating that's a con um Definitely, if you guys buy it, watch this video real quick or watch any other video. Thanks for tuning to your boy Bronx83. Chat about everything, chat about nothing. Peace.